Hello, this is Michael Rashad. Continuing on with our series of video comparisons side by side between Excel as a spreadsheet and FileMaker, a database, I've got a list of property bookings for a company that does manage property management. And on the left hand column, we've got all the different properties and we've got the arrival date and the departure date. Now, not all of the properties that are shown as booked, or rather not all the properties that are available are currently booked. And what we're trying to do is find out which properties are available for a specific date in March, March the 15th. Now I thought about this, how I would do this, and I could sort the whole records by the date, so I could group all the March ones together by arrival date and departure date. But I've also got to take into account items where the arrival date is well before the date and after the date that I'm looking for. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure how I'm going to find those bookings, short of going through looking at every single one of them. And I've got over 450, so that would be a big job. Having found all the bookings, we've then got to compare the list of properties that are booked with a list of properties that are, that are not that are in total to come up with the properties that are available. And any way you look at it, this is almost an impossible job with a spreadsheet. But I wonder how difficult it would be with a FileMaker database. Let's take a look, shall we? So as we just discussed, finding available properties for a specific date or date range is very tricky using a spreadsheet. With a database, we simply enter the first date we're looking for, let's say June the 15th, and there's a two-day minimum, so the program automatically fills in the departure date, it's two days later. And it has now populated with all the properties that can be booked for that period with the number of capacity and the total cost and allows you to just click on the book button to create that booking on the fly. If we go back here and we change that to the 22nd for example, we've got a shorter list and if we change it to the 30th, we've got a much shorter list. So whatever date range we enter, the program will immediately display available properties with the capacity and the cost and allow us to book that. I don't think that could be any easier. Do you? This is Michael Rashad. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.